Okay, hi. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I cannot figure out how to boost my audio. Anyway, um, blocks. Okay, so blocks are cool. If you have a box, that's your box. I don't know why that opens every time. And say that you're building whatever you're making has a bunch of these. Say this is like an apartment, right? Let's scale these down. This is your apartment. And you already made your whole design. You have these at very specific angles. And you want oops, you want your thing to stay at this way. You don't want to have to copy paste and all this stuff all the time, right? But you want to add a door on the front door. So you make your little door. You're like, I want my door to be on all of them, right? That's where blocks come in very handy, if they're all the same. So like they are here. Um, so what you do is block, and you select what you want to make the block, and then you pick a base point. I will show the base point later. Right now, just pick anywhere. So now you have a block. All right, what does this do? Nothing. If you click on this guy, it just selects the whole thing. It's kind of like a group, but you can't edit any of them. Like even if you Control Shift to select, it looks weird and it doesn't let you do anything. It's weird. Anyway, so all I did was just copy and paste this. You can literally hit Control C, Control V to copy paste it, and you have two. Or you can hold Alt and move one of the arrows, and you can see that plus sign show up. Okay, so that's just very handy. Um, also, this is something no one ever seems to know. That's extrude, if you want to extrude a shape. Um, that's move, and then um, alt is duplicate. Oh, this is control shift to click on a face, or a line, or a point. Okay, moving on blocks. Okay, so here's block. I just copied and pasted it over here. Apparently there's two. Copy and paste it, and then, oh, I want the door, oops. I actually want the door on this side. Um, when you click OK, it mo updates all other blocks, right? And to, to edit these, you just double click. I cannot touch anything else. I have to edit only what's inside of this quote unquote block, right? So I actually want a door here. Why not? Updates the new block. These aren't updated, right? These are just regular boxes that I made. So what you would do is before you make your thing, before you even make your massing, so you have your box, you're about to make your massing, right? And you have an idea of what you want, just make it a block. Make your block, name it whatever you want, and then make your super cool massing, whatever that may be. Sure, I'll just raise it. Um, and then when I edit this and I say, I wanna put in a door, right? I wanna put in a roof of some sort, whatever, good enough. Um, and I want, that to be raised. I don't know. Um, there. I have my super cool block, right? My building. Then when I click update, it updates all of them. So I'll open my file so you can see what I did. Um, and while that's opening, I will show another thing. So when you have your block, you, you can edit any of them, right? So what I always do is I just copy and paste a block over here and I edit him and I keep it like orthogonal like along the lines so say I want to extend this wall over 10 feet or something then I can do that easily um, and it does all of them but if I want to extend the wall over here 10 feet there's not an easy way to do that see oops I went the wrong way see how it's like at an angle right that's not what I wanted so that's why I do that. You, there's ways to get around that and fix it, but this is just faster. So anyway, there's that. And I mean, see how I messed it up. Doesn't matter. Anyway, this is ugly anyway. So, oops, this is my model right now. Um, each of these is a block. So I, I'll show you if I go into the block by double clicking, then I select a face and I move it wherever. Then when I click OK, it updates all of them, right? And Control Z undoes them. Um, that's how I put the doors on all of them. Um, so yeah, that's how I did that. Also, each of them has this grid structure on it. If I move part of that, it moves them all, right? So that's all I wanted to show you there, I think. I'll leave it open though. Um, okay. So this is very, very handy, right? That's why I'm telling you this. Um, anyway, another thing you can do is say you have, oh, what am I doing? Say you have some sort of door, so let's say three and a half by half by seven feet. 
um, you have your door, and you're like, okay, I, this is my door right now, right? Um, so, that's not a door. I want it to be this. Um, let's just scale it down to pretend that we actually made this to scale before. So, I can make this a block. I can pick the point, and then I can go copy. I can open in here, I can paste it again. Because remember, you can't edit things outside, so you have to copy it before you go in there. And I can just move it to where I want it, right? Sure, let's just stay there. I don't care. Um, cool. Now I have my door. And if I leave it, okay, whatever, it's just a door. Then I could have done that normally, whatever. Okay, well, let's watch this, okay? Let's just say you want door handles later, right? You didn't want them before, but now you want them. Well, you can add a door handle. And now all your doors have door handles. Every single place you put it, it will update every single block. Um, okay, now to show you the the base point thing that I skipped over before. Say, okay, I like this. I want another unit, but I want it to be, um, I don't want it to have a roof thing on it, and I want the door over here. Okay, well, oh, I updated all of them. No, I don't want that. I only want this top one to be the one, or let's just leave this one the only one with the roof and pretend that this is the roof for them. I don't know. So let's undo this put that back because I feel like it. Um, let's just say explode block. So now this is no longer a block. It's a regular thing. This is still a block. This is still the door guy, but these are still just random pieces. So now let's remake it into a block. But I'm going to pick this as the corner, which I will show you why this is important in a second. So now that's the corner at the base point. Sorry. Um, so now this is a different block, so if I go in here and delete the roof like I did before, it doesn't change these, right? This is a whole separate entity than that. Now I can do this command replace block, and I can select which ones, and then I hit space, and then I skip this because I don't want to select any others. And then I click select from block definition list, and I find the one that I want. I think this is the one I just made. And then I click OK. Now cool, it made it without a roof, but if you watch, it moved it. Okay, I don't want it to move it, so I'm going to undo that. Go back here. Explode this guy, because he didn't. he's not what I wanted. The base point, when you make a block, is where the block originates from. So this little point is like zero, right? So if I name this no roof, I don't know why I'm starting names now, but if I name it no roof, and this guy, I think I put it there before. Now, if I place block oops why can't I select this okay replace block no roof click OK it doesn't move it see that's because when I first made the no roof block I put the base point over here in the wrong spot on purpose now I put it in the same spot on each model and so it'll work so if I make a new one and I go hold on a sec my pizza's done No, it's not. Okay. Okay, if I make a new block, so explode, so it's not a block anymore, and then make it a new block, and I pick this point, the correct point, give it a name. Say I want it to be two stories, right? Sure. Then I click OK, nothing updates because it's not supposed to, and then I say this guy, replace block, oops, get to the list, um, this one I think. Nope. This one? Yeah, now he's two stories, right? And if I go in here and say, actually, I wanted that a little bit higher, I was wrong, then I can update it. That is the power of blocks. Very handy. You can also do a block for a wall. So say I, oops, say I decide, okay, this is going to be how my wall is, and then I'm going to cut out some windows into it, right? Um, let me copy and paste this really quick. So I'm going to cut out some windows in this wall. So that's my wall window. Then I'm going to, say, put a door and a window in one of the walls. Cool. So I'm going to make this a block. Put the base point. I always pick the bottom right corner just so I know. But bottom right is arbitrary, so whoever knows, you know. Um, okay, so now I have this wall. Just pretend that this wall is perfectly scaled to this thing, right? 
then it'll be like, okay, well, actually, I didn't like that I put the two windows there. I want to replace it with the door and the window thing, right? So i got to find it in hope. Yeah, so now it's replaced with a door and a window. And you can also go back. You can replace it with yeet. And it'll be back to two windows. So that's blocks. I think I covered everything. Hopefully that helps. If you have questions, you know where I am.